Yo, what is going on guys? Lily has been receiving non-stop buffs to be a disgusting laner. She's gotten a bunch of buffs to heal more whenever she hits an enemy champion. Just lots and lots of health. And uh, she also has a very, very strong build, which is a 63% win rate. No joke, which is a, not making this up, Frozen Heart Rush into Rift Maker. I guess it's just a lot of useful stats for her so she can perm a man mana span and stay alive. I think Riftmaker would be pretty good against their team. They're relatively low damage other than the Kiana, and the Frozen Heart will keep me alive from her. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be running this. We might just go Riftmaker into Frozen Heart because uh, I won't need the Frozen Heart against the Cho'Gas since he does all AP damage. So, yep, we're going to be starting with our Q. We have Conquer, Presence of Mind for infinite mana, Tenacity, Last Stand. Okay, never mind. I'm going Frozen Heart Rush, Cho'Gas mid. And then I have unflinching and bone plating. This Kiana is going to be in for a rough time, I think. Let me get the wave pushing. Generally want to hit everything with your tip on this champ. The tip of your Q does maximum damage. So we already got the wave pushing pretty hard. She's going to have to hit the minions or she's going to miss a lot. We're going to bonk her with an auto. Keeps backing up though. She's chilling so far back, I can't even get to her. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our W. I kinda need to pull back. The wave's gonna push to me. I need to go get a ward down. If you're gonna play this far up, once you have the wave shoved, you wanna get a ward down. Even though I think Volley Bear started top side, it should be pathing bot side. We need to know for sure. We've had her pushed in so far. We haven't really been able to actually hit her with anything. Right now, it's just been big chill fest. Yeah, she's just sitting so far back. She's even a level up on me because I she's taking more CS. Now that I have my E, I can start forcing things on her a bit. There we go. Finally hit her with a Q. She's just not willing to trade with us at all. We need to build up our passive stack so we can run her down with an ability. She's just chilling. She's deep chilling. We're going to auto attack her, hit her with a Q, run her down. Getting a lot of mana back and we have full conk stacks. It's kind of insane. There we go. Hit her again. She's almost dead. We've barely even touched her. because She's not willing to actually play versus us. I'm going to line this up with my E. There we go. And that's going to give us back mana because our presence of mine. It's back some juicy, juicy mana. And then bonk. We want to hit her with an ability, get some more mana back. She's just not playing the game, dude. She's like AFK. I guess I can reset. Cho'Gath's going to be... I mean, uh, Volley Bear's going to be here shortly is the thing. So I kind of do need to back... She is, she's all in me here. I'm just going to flash. And we died. That's unfortunate. Bit of a boring lane matchup. We'll get our Glacial Shroud. Come back to lane. Should be able to kill her. I didn't realize she didn't have TP. Otherwise, I would have just TP'd way sooner. She's going to lose so much CS. We should be ahead of her in gold. We already have double her CS right now as is. Yeah, she can't really stay. I know Volley Bear's nearby. That's what she's waiting for. She's going to miss miss a lot of these minions. Bonker with our E. Give us a nice damage. A little bit of mana back. Bonk this, and we're too fast. Volley Bear can't gank. Hit him with our E. We'll hit him with a Q. Kha'Zix really shouldn't have walked out there. There's no need. 
And this is why Lilia has a 63% win rate. Disgusting with this build. Who is this? Ooh, he's almost on us. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're back in it, boys. Back in the action. We're going to get some more corruption potions. We have our wave underneath her turret as well. So this is going to bounce back to us. Huge. We're going to go ahead and just keep going for more armor i guess we could grab tier one boots i'm not even gonna bother with control words we shouldn't even really need it i love frozen heart i love armor I love the mana so so far to give you some perspective our runes we've already gotten 360 free mana and uh our last dance done 30 extra damage we've only reduced 14 damage with bone plating because she's not really fighting us she's just rarely poking yeah, so far, Presence of Mind is MVP. Done a lot. Almost got her. I could kind of freeze it on her. Lilia plays best not freezing, though. This chick's just playing so passive. I don't know how else I'm going to kill her. We could just keep perma shoving and try to vo draw a Volibear up here, but he's dead right now. So I'll just freeze the wave. If she wants to play like this, she can play like this. She's just not going to get any CS. He's playing super passive. Assume she's probably roaming right now. Yep. She's taking very short trades and then she's backing off. Hit her with our W, I mean our Q, nice little healing. I don't want her to get this cannon. My min her minis aren't really focusing the cannon. I'm just gonna shove the wave now. I could keep the freeze, but I wanna get my passive movement speed up, which is really how you stay alive in this a lane like this. There you go, buddy. Sit on that damage. Hit her with some more damage. We'll swoop in here in a second, just like that. If you're moving really fast on passive, you can weave in in the turret, even though your burn passive is on them. Just like we did there. Bonk the minions. Ooh, yeah, you don't have the damage to kill me, bud. I'm gonna just run through the turret. That's cute, though. And I can just run away. I don't actually have to turn. We got, uh, we got our Ignite, we got our R, we got Volibear R, and we wasted his time, showed him on the map. That's why this is so strong. Just stay alive. We're going to finish building our Frozen Heart. Actually, we'll get this. We don't need to finish it right now. Lucidities are really, really good on Lilia. The wave's pretty neutral. I'll be super strong against their team, because like I said, they're all pretty low damage. Their only high burst is MFR and Kiana. And since I'm rushing Frozen Heart, that damage isn't going to count that much. I wish it would show how much this heals you. Yeah, against large monsters, and you restore health against champions as well. They've buffed her a lot. Buffed her a lot for laning, and a little bit for the jungle just to make her clears a bit healthier. But if you're already clearing properly on her, her clears are already pretty healthy. I'll try to zone her off the minions a bit. Gonna make her lose these back three. She can get that melee one if she wants. Gonna max our W second. <laughs> We're up over double her CS. There we go, got her with a Q. That'll heal us. We also turned on our corruption potion. That'll be burning her nice and good with our passive. I could shove her off this melee minion. I won't miss anything for it, I don't think. Yep. I hope Volley Bear comes back so I can one verse two them. <laughs> She's just playing so safe. Like, how am I supposed to trade with her? She's just okay with not getting CS, I guess. I'm the type of laner. This is why I'm a jungle main. I'm the type of laner when I'm not getting any CS, I'll get too frustrated or I'll just start like kind of dying for the CS. She, she is uh, really willing to give up a lot. All 
Uh, I missed one. I don't know why she thinks she can step up all of a sudden. She lost that melee minion. She lost that one as well. She's gonna lose this range creep. <laughs> She's just giving. She, she was trying to hit me there and that minion, but she ended up missing both. I'm just thinning out the wave a bit and also getting some passive stacks. I'm also trying to like hit a minimum amount of minions with my Q. That way uh, I don't overshove the wave too fast. That way I can still build passive stacks. Volibear is bot side. Mm, I'll just freeze, man. I don't care. I don't think I can actually freeze from this point because my wave's going to reinforce first. So now I'll shove. Try to get some passive stacks up and all in this chick. Got her. This is gonna be some juicy health. She's got burn on or we can't go under turret right now or it'll focus us. But we can do it with that. Just weave back in. Hit her with a Q. We back in. I mean we hit her with an E then we weave back in hit her with Q. When you're moving this fast, it's very easy to hit everything with your Q. She's dead. Ooh, maybe I'm dead. I just barely lived. I need to get out of here. I'll leave a ward there, and we can TP back to lane. She doesn't have TP. We're up double her CS. We almost have perfect CS, considering we died. Got Frozen Heart now. We'll go straight into Rift Maker. I'll TP back. Probably TP bad a little bit early. Could have gotten a bit more health. But it is what it is. We'll passively heal back up. Oh, we're also up two plates on her, so we're actually probably up like over 600 gold. Adds up. Got it. We have four passive stacks up. Hit her with that. Now we're back at four again. They're starting to fall off. Mm, we just lost all of our stacks, but she's losing a lot of CS. Got her. A lot of people don't even realize that when Lily hits you with an ability, it heals her like crazy. We're going to hit her and run pass. We're back at five stacks. And we'll just run through. Love Frozen Heart. I'll back from here like to toss out an E just in case they try some sort of cheese. They're sharing the wave. I think MF's sad because I think she lost bot lane. Go ahead and get this ruby crystal. We'll head back top, get a control word. We shouldn't really lose much CS. We backed on cannon wave. She doesn't have that many items. We have tier two boots. 129 CS. We don't have that much KP, but we are soaking ganks. We've soaked a few volley ganks. And I guess an MF gank, if you can call that a gank. Bonk. Oh, I missed cannon. That sucks. Thought my Q had the damage there. Thought we had it. I hope Volley Bear comes up here. Hey, buddy. Why is he doing this, though? He really wants these wards that bad. Yeah, 
almost got me. Almost. That'll heal me back up a bit. I don't think that's actually going to kill me. Especially if Kha'Zix pinches that kill. Nice. Kind of want that cannon, buddy. And he's helping himself. Holy crap, I'm almost dead. I didn't realize I was that low. I don't actually really heal off the minions because I don't have Ravenous Hunter. I only heal off champions when I hit them. Go ahead and reset. And we'll go straight into our Rift Maker. Heck, I'll even buy a Dark Sill. I'm feeling it. Our KP is so low, but look at our CS. Ooh. Whoa! It's high. We have more than double hers. She even built uh, Merc Treads. That's kind of funny. It's not going to be that good versus my team. My team's AD heavy. Such a relaxing champion to play since you're so fast. Look at that. Just follow her in, take one turret shot. She lost half her health. I can all in her now. 100% all in her. Since you have presence of mind, you get mana back every time you hit a champion. We're at three plant stacks. We're losing a lot. Once they start ticking down, you lose them really quick. Guess she thought I was going to go in for her there. Little does she know she's not worth it to me. I don't really want to kill every minion because I want to be able to maintain my plant stacks. So I'm just kind of killing them one at a time. Got you, buddy. I'm not even going to R for this. She ain't worth an R. If you get good at with your circle, like you see, I'm only killing one minion at a time to constantly maintain my prant stacks. They're having, she's having trouble getting away. I still have my R. Swain's kind of fed actually. I don't know if I can fight him. He has double AP items too. I'm not even two full items. I am not even two. Surprised he's two full items. I've been farming, farming up pretty well. Guess he's got that support item for free gold. Toss out my E. Let's hope it hits something. Looks like it did. I'm gonna walk away. Look at that damage. Holy moly. Kha'Zix just missed his dash. He died from my burn. Nice. I don't know. Maybe I don't even have to back here. I don't think I do. I think we're fine to keep going. Yeah, she's not actually willing to fight me all in. She's only willing to take these super abbreviated trades. Back at three prants. I wonder if she's got a teammate coming or something. She's acting weird. She's acting strange and I don't like it. I can afford Riftmaker, we might as well back at four dark sill stacks. We'll get rift and then usually at this point you'd go for demonic to have even more burn damage i'll go ahead and tp i'm feeling it i'm feeling tough the tankier there the tankier the enemies are the easier you kill them because of your passive max health burn damage uh, i 
couldn't get her. She even ignited me there. Good luck, Swain. Good luck there, bud. Now I'm back at four Prant stacks. I need to get back to five. As long as you're at three to five, no one can really chase you because you're just moving ridiculously fast. My mouse is messing up a little bit. I'm gonna W away. Yeah, Volibear is pissed. He's so mad that he can't get to me. He might be trying to bait me right now. I can't tell. I think he I guess he's mad because Kiana didn't do anything, but what is she going to do? Oh my god, he's actually letting me kill him. What a goofball. He's that pissed. But how seriously? I'm moving at 500 movement speed. Like, how is she going to get to me? She should... Eh, she may not actually die from that. Ooh, that hit. I'm dead. Oh my god, I got too greedy. All I had to do was juke that Cho'Gath Q. He played that pretty well. Shoot. That was unfortunate. I'll go ahead and set, sell the Dark Seal. Get some more health. We'll go back up top side. You can perma split push. When it's time to 5v5, you can do that. I think that would be a decent option as well. Thing is, no one can match me on their team because they don't have a bruiser. And even then, most bruisers are mainly like Jax or I really, they'd have trouble staying on you. Hopefully I don't lose turret off this. I am going to lose turret off this. That sucks. Let's see if I can get my ball all the way over there. Get this wave shoving again. Need to reinstate my power. We have so much mana off Frozen Heart too. An extra 400. Plus our corruption potions. It's pushing. Get a deep word as well. Volibear might have AFK'd after I did him dirty. He didn't have a single successful gank on me because you can't really gank Lily at top. That's why it's annoying. You can't gank her. She's too fast. She's a bait champion. You think you can, but you really can't. She keeps her prant stacks up. Is this up? Uh, I need something to get prant stacks on. Need some free prants because we're only moving at 375 base moving speed. There we go, back at four. Come on, Cho'Gath, try to hit me with the Q this time, bud. That's cute. Very cute. Oh, I gotta run this way. You're dead. Oh my god, this is so OP. Gotta run this way. He <laughs> can't get to me. Oh, that's so. That's so good. He's gonna die now. Everyone wants to gank you when you play Lily at top, let me tell you. If they don't surrender off that man, I don't know what's going to make them surrender. <laughs> I guess killing me. That's that's the only thing that will satisfy their craving. Their craving to kill. Right, 233 CS. She's at 84. Holy crap. Bonk. 
Man, these guys keep igniting me. It's so annoying. My R is still on a cooldown. Just came up. And I think that's GG's. I don't think they have it in to push out the base. Yep, that's GG's. If you guys enjoyed this Trollo lol 63% win rate, literally a top build, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.